Troy Faltanu might be the best offensive lineman in this class. I'm going to tell you why the San Francisco 49ers should go up and trade for him. Now, it won't be easy, and you already know it would take a lot. I believe it would take the 49ers moving into the top 15 to be able to accomplish this, which will be a tough task and isn't by any stretch of the imagination something that is absolutely going to happen. But I'm going to show you with tape examples why Troy Fautanu should be a guy that the San Francisco 49ers think about adding. He is just such a quality, quality player. And he has the, he really, in my opinion, has the ability to be an all pro player at all five positions on the offensive line. Yes, left tackle, left guard, center, right guard, right tackle, all five spots. I think he can play every single one of them and thrive no matter where he's put in the NFL. When you look at his statistics and kind of where he ranks size-wise, he's 6'4", 314 pounds. He's not the biggest offensive lineman, but when you look at his measurables and you look at how his movement ability is what's really sold me on him. You look at his 40 time. He ran a 5.0140 that has him in the 91st percentile. His vertical with the 32.5 has him in the 92nd percentile. And his broad jump is in the 94th percentile. This guy can move. And that is why I truly believe he can play in any spot on the offensive line. This guy is a pretty special player. And I'm going to show you right now. Why I think he's worth the investment to go and trade up for, because as we know, he, like I said, he could play any spot. So if he wanted to, if we needed him at right tackle next year. Okay. If we needed him at right guard next year. Okay. If we needed him at center we could put him wherever, and then eventually just see where he fits best. But let's take a look at some of the technique and what he provides um, and why he is going to be a special player in the league. First of all, snatch. Look at the snatch technique. You get a little chip from the tight end. But first of all, just look at his feet and his base, how smooth he is. Just that little kick step to inside step and just the ability to mirror effortlessly and then with the snatch technique, just pull him down like a sack of potatoes. Troy Faltanu is an absolute dog. Uh, but one of the things that he excels at is pass protection. Let's take a look. I'll run it through, and then we'll break it down. Another defender on the ground. This time he is passing off a stunt. He, You can see that right hand floating out. Feeling number 55, he is anticipating that stunt coming, but he's got eyes on 18. So when he feels that pressure, he takes over the block from 55. And then the second 55 tries to get hands, he chops them. And as a result, look at 55 hit the turf. This dude is so technically advanced and athletically gifted that he is going to be an absolute menace in the NFL. And again, you can just see how fluid his base is. He's so quick to get hands off. Look at the active hands, whether trying to continue to shoot inside to the chest, control outside shoulders, still going inside. Troy Fautanu is dripping with technique. And when you look at his athletic ability on top of it, it just is an extremely enticing player. I mean, just look at the movement, the snap with this kick step, the bend in the hips. Look at how, look at that technique. Feet don't come together. See how his hips are completely squared to the line of scrimmage. He doesn't open the gate until the defender picks his rush path, which is to the outside. And then it's just hands, it's leverage, it's power. It's beauty and it's grace. It's phenomenal. <laughs> I love this guy. This is probably my favorite draft crush right now coming into this class. Here's another example of some of the power. It's a double team. He's down blocking. 
and you can see how easy he gets 41 on the ground like it's nothing and then looking for work but one of the things that's really cool about troy is his ability to move in space so when you look at like what he will be able to do at the next level i mean you see the power right here this guy is going this is he's he's on a linebacker 23 is a linebacker so he is going to be able to fit into zone scheme gap scheme doesn't matter he's scheme diverse um and that's because his traits and technique allow him to be that you can see engages the double eyes up peels to backer and then just drives this dude into the turf and makes him eat grass. Troy Faltanu is a dog. Here's He is on a screen and taking advantage of number 23 again. Right into the turf. So right now, when it comes to Troy Faltanu, this is a guy that I think is absolutely worthy of trading up for. It's going to be interesting to see how teams view him, if they perceive his size to be an issue or, or what. But if he slides out of, I would say, the top 13, top 14, that's where I'm I'm John Lynch. I'm picking up the phone and I'm calling. What, just what would it take? Colts are at 15. There's a good chance that the Seattle Seahawks could have their eyes on him at 16. And if I could keep him out of division, put him on my squad, that might be worth a, a high a high amount to trade up to go and get him. Now, obviously, that's a big drop for a team, too, to go from 15 to 31 in a pick swap, and then whatever else you add to the deal, because obviously you would have to add more, whether it's future, second, thirds, whether it's a, and additional draft picks from this class, maybe a player is added in there. But the 49ers could get creative when it comes to trying to put together a package to go and get this guy because the versatility is there. You get, you get such a value because he can fit any hole he can compete at left guard he can compete at right tackle he can really put he could even play center i think in the nfl i think he would be a dog at center to be honest so i think you try to figure out where his best shot is to play as a year one starter on the san francisco 49ers and then you put him there so if that's right tackle if that's right guard you put him there. If that's center, you put him there. And then you just see how he competes in training camp. And I think they would be extremely impressed with what this guy brings to the table. Troy Faltanu, in my opinion, um, is the most athletically gifted offensive lineman in this class. And I think I think this is where offensive line needs to go. I think I, I think offensive line needs to go more athlete not bigger you know the six eight three forty guys yeah that they they are there's a role for them and and they're absolutely needed in the nfl but if you can get me a six four three hundred that can move like this this to me is the new prototype for offensive linemen tackle center guard across the line guys who can move guys with power guys who can get out space guys who are dripping with technique the athletic mold can counter against the athletic defensive tackles, the athletic edges. They neutralize them with athlete on athlete versus athlete on big. I think that is the big discrepancy with defensive line play versus offensive line play in the NFL. And to me, this is the new age offensive lineman. This is the new prototype, in my opinion. And again, I was a former offensive lineman. I was smaller, faster more athletic technique so i might be a little biased in that regard but it's how i felt for a long time and if the if the nfl can start moving towards more athletes on the o-line you could see a big increase i think in production from o-line units and if you can get a guy like this who has that much versatility 
is already that much of an athlete and has the requisite technique to play multiple spots, to me, that's worth that to me, that's worth sending the house. So I don't know. You guys let me know. Would you do it? Would you go and get this guy? Would you trade up to get him? What are your thoughts? What would it take for you? Let me see your your trades in the comments below. Yes, no, Troy Faltanu. For me, it's a big yes, and I would absolutely trade up to go get him. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.